Hello everyone, this is Ask a Scientist, and I'm your host, Kerbins. They are bigger than deer, but smaller than moose. They are the familiar face on our 25 cent coin. Today, we are talking about caribou. We already learned the difference between caribou and reindeer, but today's question is about caribou conservation. Are caribou at risk? If so, what can we do to save them? This is one for our caribou expert, Dr. Mathieu Leblanc. Take it away, Mathieu. Well, I'm sad to report that uh, the majority of caribou populations are indeed at risk of disappearing across the world. Not all of them, but the majority. And uh, here in Canada, several designatable units of caribou have been added to the Species at Risk Act, including boreal caribou, which live in the boreal forest, Gaspésie caribou, and the southern mountain caribou in British Columbia. This means that caribou, uh, some caribou populations could effectively disappear uh, completely if nothing was done to prevent their decline. Now, you may wonder, well, why caribou are in decline? Now, this question is a little bit more difficult. There's no simple answer to that question. Basically, because there are so many different reasons which can all act simultaneously to explain the decline of caribou. So I won't be able to make a complete list today. But what I can tell you is that, unfortunately, in most cases, uh, humans have an important role to play. Let's just say that caribou and humans, we have the same basic needs. So let, let me explain that. So first, uh, caribou live in coniferous forests. This is where they find the food and shelter that they require to survive. So the spruce forests or pine forests, uh, this is where they live. And, and, and this is important to them. And, and, and we humans also prefer these forests when it comes time to obtain wood for construction or pulp to produce paper. So we cut down the forest which is the same forest that shelters the caribou and that is so important to their survival. Uh, caribou also like the beautiful and high mountains, like the Rocky Mountains in Western Canada or the Shikshak in Eastern uh, Canada. Uh, because historically, caribou were able to hide from their main predators by climbing to the top of mountains during the calving period. And this is where they reared their young. Um, we humans, like the same areas and so when it comes time to perform uh, various winter activities like skiing or snowmobile we like the same types of mountains and we build ski resorts there and we build kilometers upon kilometers of roads and trails directly in caribou habitat and unfortunately wolves or i mean predator of caribou wolves can use these trails to to reach and capture more caribou and finally, in areas like Alberta, where we extract most of the oil and gas that we use to heat our homes, run our cars, make plastic, uh, we also alter caribou habitat. Uh, and then caribou become confined in these areas that are disturbed by human activities. So natural resource extraction and even the recreation and tourism industries, which are very important economic sectors in Canada, unfortunately can negatively influence the habitat of caribou and endanger their populations. Now, obviously all of this is pretty worrisome um, and we can ask ourselves, well, what can we do as citizens to help protect caribou? So today I'm gonna focus on simple things, things that everybody and anybody can do at home to do their part and help the environment in general, but by the same token, help the conservation of endangered species like caribou. So the first concrete thing we can do is reduce unnecessary waste of resources and increase recycling. So for example, if we use more recycled paper, um, we won't need to cut down as many trees and we will therefore reduce our footprint on caribou habitat. You can also make sure that you buy a paper and cardboard that is certified by standards, such as the Forest Stewardship Council or FSC, which promotes forest free companies to cut down the forest in a sustainable manner while respecting caribou habitat. And finally, if the conservation of caribou and biodiversity in general is something that is important to you, I invite you to do the same as I do and talk about your concerns to the people around you uh, so that the environment and the protection of species at risk occupies a place of choice in our society. Thank you very much and I look forward to your next question. It's sad news to hear that caribou are at risk, but always good to be aware so we can do what we can to help. Thanks, Matsu. If you're interested 
and knowing more about what our scientists, like Mathieu, are doing to help save them, you can always ask a scientist here on the next episode. See you next time.